Okay, great example of exponential decay is deflation. So we're going to imagine a deflation rate of 4% each year. Deflation is very rare, of course. And um, we'll look at how prices would change after one year, two years, 20 years, 100 years, just for fun. Uh, of course, uh, deflation is uh, very unusual because most money that we use is just pieces of paper that are printed off over and over and over. <coughs> and the more of these pieces of paper you have in 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 the town, the uh, the less value they have themselves, and so prices keep going up. So you have uh, constant inflation, unfortunately. But um, uh, so, but if you had deflation, just to kind of totally see what a different world it would be if we had deflation, which you know you'd have to kind of yeah. Anyway, but if you had deflation. After one year, how much would prices change? Well, let's take, um, let's take. Um, imagine you're saving for college uh, for 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 your, your child, and your child's born. Say and say college expenses. Let's let's take college expenses as um, just for for a, a random figure, uh, thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. So you're saving for college for a child, right? So, if you actually had thirty thousand dollars, and there was deflation, one year later, the price of the education is going to be um, the initial amount uh, times one times itself thirty thousand minus four percent of that because the price is going to drop because we have deflation in the country. So prices of the price of all everything will drop. Including education. So here we go. Um, Thirty thousand times one minus four percent. Make sure to turn four percent into a decimal. What does that make? Four percent is four per hundred, right? Which is four cents or zero point zero four, right? Think of money. So in any case, we have um, thirty thousand. Times one minus zero point zero four, or thirty thousand times zero point nine six. Okay, that's another way of looking at it. Anyway, calculate that. And that gives us twenty eight thousand eight hundred dollars, right? So if you say if you happen to have thirty thousand and you just kind of waited a year, the cost of education would drop to that with a deflation rate of 4%, right? After two years, what would the price of, uh, you know, let's say this is some sort of a degree, what would the price of this degree be after two years? So it's going to be, it's just like the exponential growth, only we have decay, we have exponential decay or, or a, a decrease, okay? So again, you'll take your thirty thousand times one gives itself minus four percent, okay, and you're gonna kind of do that twice, basically, right? So, um, so basically, this is squared. So, so the formula is you got your thirty thousand times one, and the rate is negative four percent, so it's minus zero point zero four, and then it's all squared, right? And you can calculate it out this way, or 1 minus 0 0.04, of course, is 0 0.96. You can do it this way as well. 30,000 times 0 0.96 all squared. So whether you do it this way or this way, it doesn't matter. I kind of like to write this out because it clearly shows that 4% is being, it's, the, the amount is being reduced by 4%. But in any case, calculate that and let's see what we have. And this should give you twenty-seven thousand six hundred and forty-eight dollars. So, in a world where we experience deflation, the price of college—if you just—if would reduce from thirty thousand all the way down to the, to here, right? Um, so, what would the price of college end up being in twenty years' time? If this rate, if we had a rate of deflation of four percent 
every year. Can you press pause and try that? So you would start with 30,000 times 1 minus 4 percent or 0 0.04 to the power of what? The, the number of years that you're compounding goes up here to the power of 20, right? And then you can calculate that. And again, if you want, you can write this as uh, 0 0.96 to the power of 20. And if you're using a calculator, you would um, go 0 0.96 to the power of 20. And you could use, you, so, you, so you could say, okay, that's about 30,000 times 0 0.442 okay but eventually you should get uh, to the nearest dollar you should get I hope you find the nearest dollar 13260 right 13,260 dollars so let's think about that if we actually had deflation of 4% each year, in other words, if the dollar or the euro or whatever money you have, if your paper money is the euro, but if your paper money actually strengthened as the years went by and became more valuable, then you could, I mean, you could save money now and things would be less expensive in the future you know and so saving would really make sense everybody be saving their money and uh, be a totally different world so I mean you could say say you could save uh, 30,000 for college but find to your happy surprise that college only the degree only costs thirteen thousand two hundred and sixty dollars and you have seventeen thousand left over to pay for another kid to go to college or whatever right after a hundred years what would happen to prices if the rate of deflation decreased by 4% each year. And please note that, like in many countries, including this country, we've had inflation for a hundred, about 100 years of about 4% every year. So if you turn that upside down, what does that look like? Deflation of 100 years. Calculate that, see what you get. So you're going to go 1 minus 0 0.04 to the power of 100, right? Or once again, 30,000 times one mi or sorry, times 0 0.96 to the power of 100. So calculate that and see what it becomes. So this degree that did cost $30,000, if you calculate this to the nearest dollar. That's approximately five hundred and six dollars. Look at that. After a hundred years, that's a long time to wait. But this is the reverse of what has actually happened in the last hundred years. In the last hundred years, prices have gone from around things that cost five about five hundred dollars a hundred years ago now cost thirty thousand dollars, right? But if deflation would be the opposite and it would reverse everything, be, be and, and encourage everybody to save and things like that.